Hey everyone, I'm PB, and today I'm going to be going over my top 10 cutest Pokemon. Okay, so, um, I don't really need to explain much about this list because I'm just going over what I think are the cutest Pokemon. If you don't think these are cute, then, well, I respect your opinion. You're wrong, <laughs> but I respect you. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, um, let me know who you think the cutest Pokemon is once the video's over. But anyway, let's get into it. Alright, number 10 is Yamper. Yamper is freaking adorable, and in Pokemon Sword and Shield, it's just oh my god, I love I love Yamper so much. The moment I saw it, I knew it had to be in my team. It's not the cutest Pokemon from Sword and Shield, as you'll see in a little while, but it's one of the cutest. Like wow, I I love it so much. It's it's also electric type, which is cool because like I always I never really realized this before, but I've been drawing all my teams from each generation, which I may have an upcoming video about, but we'll see. And I noticed how many electric types I do have in each team. Like, is that, it was actually kind of a revelation of some kind. Like, I knew I always had a water and flying type, because like, you kind of need those, but I never realized how many electric types I used, so that was pretty cool. I, I think Boltund is cool too, but it's just kind of goofy. Like, I don't hate it, but it looks really goofy. But yeah, Yamper's the best in their evolution line. I wish he had a better shiny though. Although when I found my shiny Yamper, oh my god, that was, I was so happy because it was taking so long, and oh my god, it was killing me. Although I am hunting Rockruff right now, and it's doing the same. But I'll find it. I won't give up. But unfortunately, there are nine other Pokemon I find cuter than Yamper. Number nine is Pikachu. I know, it, I know Pikachu is kind of you know. The, it's the mascot, and everyone knows it, but like, it, you can't change its cuteness. I only, I only put it number 9 because, you know, I know I do find it adorable. Sorry, it's a bit windy, I don't know if you can hear that. Although I do find it adorable, it's also like, you know, everywhere. So like, people are getting sick of seeing it. I'm not personally, because, you know, it's a recognizable face. <laughs> but yeah, I just put it number 9 just because I felt like it wasn't really fair to put it higher. Sorry, Yamper, but you know, Pikachu is cuter than you. But yeah, I, I love everything about Pikachu. You can't hate Pikachu, let's face it. And he's probably still my favorite electric type. I, I know, I like all the Gen 1 Pokemon. I, I, maybe I am a Gen 1-er. <laughs> no. um, but yeah, Pika, I wish Pikachu had a better shiny as well. Although, it does look good in Sun and Moon. Even though it's the same model as X and Y, it just suits the environment more. Because Alola is based on Hawaii, and you know, obviously you get tanned in Hawaii. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like Pikachu has a tan. Which I really like. Uh, like. Like I said, I find any Pokemon cuter. Well, kind of. I just didn't feel... It just doesn't feel right having Pikachu higher. I'm sorry. Number 8 is Nickit. You know what I was saying? Okay, I know what you're thinking. Like, N maybe Yamper is cuter than Nickit, but I don't think so. Nickit's so adorable and so beautiful, and I love this Pokemon so much. The moment I saw it, it had to be on my team. It was the final Pokemon I chose for my team, because I had, like, most of my team... I had, like, because I was going to pick Sobble as my starter, and then I was going to pick, um, what's it called, Corviknight, then Yamper, then Ponyta, and then Obstagoon. And I just had the one team member left. And once I saw this Pokemon, I knew it had to be on my team. Because, <laughs> like, oh my god, I love this thing. Until this happened. What the heck is this, Game Freak? Why did you make this? Why does it have a mustache? That is not okay. You ruined one of the best Pokemon ever, and you made this abomination. <laughs> like, I hate Feeble so much. It is so ugly. How can one of the cutest Pokemon I've ever seen in my life become one of the ugliest Pokemon I've ever seen in my life? I mean, it has happened before, but like, not to this extent. I, I just do not like Feeble at all. It is one of the worst Sword and Shield Pokemon in my opinion. And I would make a top 10 least favorite Pokemon, but I actually find that quite hard. And I don't like making, like, bad lists, like, negative videos. So maybe I will one day, but not for the time being. But anyway, Nickit is a great Pokemon. And it has a gorgeous shiny. Wow. I, I got mine really quickly. It was one of the quickest hunts in, in my game, and I was so happy when I got it, because, like, obviously I was hunting my team first, like, in the shinies. And I, I was so happy when I got this one. It's one of the best shinies in the whole game. Like, wow. But yeah, Nickit's adorable, and I love everything about it. Hey 
Number seven is Vampy, my favorite ground type. <laughs> I love Vampy so much. It is so adorable. Like, <laughs> it's the cutest little baby elephant I've ever seen in my life. Sorry, Dumbo. Um, here's a little story about Vampy. Um, so, it was, as you all know, it was my birthday a little while ago, and I wanted Soul Silver because I've never played it before. And I had, I played Gen 2, but I wanted to play Heart Gold and Soul Silver because, you know, obviously, you know, <laughs> Pokemon can follow you. But I didn't know Fampy was exclusive to Heart Gold, so I had to look. That, I had to make sure. But I'd already, my mom had already bought the game, so you, know, you see where I'm going with this. <laughs> so I was kind of disappointed. But I looked up if there was any way I could get it because, like, obviously I can't get it in like any other game because, like, you know, how am I supposed to do that? Because there's no Wi-Fi on Gen Four anymore. So I I googled to, to how I get to how I could get it, see how I could get it, and. I, I was so happy I found out it was in Platinum, but then I found out you have to have seen all of the Pokemon in, that in Platinum to, like, be able to get Fampy, which, you know, oh my god, that is so hard, but I did it. I, I, saw, I had to look for so many trainers, so many books with the pictures in them, but I finally saw all the Pokemon in the Platinum Pokedex, and then I managed to get the, um, thing where you can like get swarms then I just had to change the time on my DS and then I finally got Fampy and, I, and then when I got Soul Silver, I transferred it over because I have two DS's the, that was another part but that one was easy so that was the like one of the greatest <laughs> achievements of my life I, I know it's not an achievement but you know I don't have a life <laughs> I'm kidding I do um, but yeah, that, it was worth it, because Fanbury's adorable, and I really wanted to use it on my Johto team so badly, because I didn't use it in Crystal. But, I, I don't like Dawnfan as much, but I did really like my Fanbury evolve, and Dawnfan wasn't that strong, but it was useful. I used it quite a lot, mostly as an HM slave, but still. And, but I do wish Fanbury had a better shiny. That's one problem with it. But aside from that, Fanbury's one of the cutest Pokemon I've ever seen. Our number six is Jigglypuff, one of my mom's favorite Pokemon. <laughs> it's one of my favorites too. Jigglypuff is absolutely adorable though, like those big blue eyes, the, the just little squishy body, like wow. Also, can we mention the Jigglypuff in the anime that used to follow Ash and his friends around and always used to sing them to sleep? That was the funniest thing ever to me when I was younger. And it was so, so adorable. And it came back in Sun and Moon. Oh, it was only in a couple episodes, but still. I don't understand why it had its own house though, like that was weird. I don't even know if any of you remember that. <laughs> but yeah, Jigglypuff was adorable. And it's actually one of the people on this list that has a nice shiny. I know it doesn't change that much, but it changes enough for me to like it. I was so happy when it was in Sword and Shield, because it means I could send my shiny one from Let's Go Over. Because I was so happy about that. I'm giving it a Jigglypuff though, because although Wigglytuff is also adorable, I just don't like it as much. Like, it's still a good Pokemon though, and I and I still evolved my 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 regular Jigglypuff on my um Let's Go team, which I count as my main Kanto team. But you'll see what eventually, I promise. But yeah, Jigglypuff's adorable, and it was cute in the anime. That's kind of all I have to say. Number five is Togepi. I think you all know why I love Togepi, so like I don't need to mention anything else really. But, I'll, I'll tell you anyway, Misty's Togepi in the anime. Like, wow. That thing was adorable and I loved it so much. It broke my heart when she let it go in the Gen 3 anime, but let's not worry about that. That episode's not canon in this universe. <laughs> but I did come back in the Mewtwo Evolutions movie, so I was happy about that. It was the first time Misty's Togepi was in anything after it was released. Which made me smile. Which is good because that movie's really bad. Like, really bad. The lip syncing is the worst it's ever been. But anyway, back on Togepi. When I, when I first played Platinum and got the egg from, I think it was, um, Symbia, I think? I was really surprised when it was Togepi. I thought it was going to be, like, Hapini, because that was obviously, you know, a baby Pokemon and an egg. And Brock gets it in the anime, so, like, I really thought that was going to be a Hapini egg. But no, it was Togepi, and I was so happy. It was also a female at first try. I still have it in my Sword and Shield game. It was re so I was really happy about that. And my Sinnoh team is one of my favorite teams ever, so I'm definitely going to show you that one. But yeah, to Togepi is adorable, and I actually do kind of find it shiny kind of funny, because only the reds and blues switch around. <laughs> I see what you did there, Game Freak. Uh, and Togetic and Togekiss are just as cute. I would, I would put all three of them on the spot. But yeah, Togepi is my favorite of the evolution. 
even though Togekiss can fly. But that's all, kind of all I have to say. Number four is Mew. Uh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's the point. No, I'm kidding. Mew is just, wow. Well, it was the first mythical Pokemon I ever saw, and it's always going to be my favorite mythical. Meltan is almost there, but I don't think it's going to beat Mew. Nothing will ever beat Mew. And I think I've showed you it before. I have a shiny Mew plushie, and I love him so much. Well, them, actually, because Mew is genderless. And I, they're going to appear on my show uh, at some point. I'm not going to spoil it, but I know exactly what's going to happen. And I can't wait for you all to see how Mew plays its role in um, Pokemon Squad. It's going to be exciting. Um, but yeah, Mew was adorable in the first movie. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Every time I see it, I smile. It was adorable in the Lucario movie as well, but I don't really like, remember much of that movie. So, I can't like really talk about it that much. And also, it appeared in like a few other episodes of the anime. It was always in the intros. Um, it appeared in an episode of Sun and Moon when Rotom said that he's almost complete the Kanto deck, but he has one more left. And then, I think it appeared in- oh yeah, it did appear in Pokemon Journeys. Like, that Mew was so cute. I also, lo I also love that Mew can use every attack in the game, how it can transform into any Pokemon. It's just one of the best Pokemon. And then, Mewtwo is cool. I love Mewtwo as well, but I'm sorry Mewtwo, you're not cute at all. You're cool, but you're not cute. But, yeah, you know, Mew is adorable and I love them so, so much. Number three is Piplup, my favorite starter ever. Oh my god, I love Piplup so much. The moment I first saw it, when I was five, like, I love this Pokemon so much. In the anime, Dawn's Piplup was so cute, how it was always, like, proud of itself, no matter what it did, and how it always, like, tried to be better than all the other Pokemon, and how it used to always get hurt. <laughs> it was so funny. I love this Pokemon so much. Also, a lot of people think it's female, but it's not. Dawn's Piplup's male. I thought it was a female at first, but then I, I realized it was male because, you know, they say it a couple times near the end. I'm, I'm pretty sure Dawn even calls it a good boy. Dawn's the only character that calls their Pokemon by their gender. I don't know if you noticed that, but I did. But yeah, Piplup was, was so cute. I obviously chose Piplup and Plant on them because come on. And it was a female first try. I named her Penelope. But I also put like a female like symbol at the end of her name, so when I sent her over to Pokemon Bank, it got rid of the name. And I didn't like that. But still, Penelope was really strong and one of my favorite team members. In my current Platinum playthrough, which I finished, my pe my Empoleon's male, but still, it was nice to have a female one, because Piplup is kind of the feminine starter of Sinnoh, and I, I, love, I love them so much. He is so cute. So cute. And I just love penguins as well. Also, if you've seen Pokemon Squad, you'll know that I have a recurring Piplup character, and his voice is so fun to do. <laughs> I'm not going to do it right now, because I've been talking a lot in this video, so I can't really do the voice, but it is so cool to do. I love doing his voice. <music> number two is Rockruff. I bet you all thought he was going to be number one. Don't worry, I did too. No. Rockruff may be my favorite Pokemon, but he's not the cutest Pokemon. He's adorable still, but he's just not the cutest one. There's one other Pokemon that's cuter than Rockruff, but until then we're going to talk about Rockruff, which, you know, I'll always talk about Rockruff because he's my favorite Pokemon ever, as you all know. I have a plushie of him, but he's the only plushie that sleeps on my bed. He doesn't go on the shelf with the others. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but And um, I love his shiny so much. He is, has the second best shiny. Maybe he's not my favorite. Because, <laughs> like, I, I say he's my favorite, but I always put him at number two on every list. Because, like, I put him at number two on my top five, ten shinies. I put him at number two on this list. Uh, of course, he's, like, always going to be my favorite. Although, I don't know if you've seen it, but sh shout out to Hoops and Hip Hop. He's been making this, um, series called, um, Pokemon Cardinal, where he makes his own region and his own Pokemon. And he made this Pokemon called Popoff. And I'm not going to lie, <laughs> if it was real... It would be my favorite Pokemon ever, because, oh my god, it's freaking adorable, and it looks like a dead Rockruff, because it's the ghost type, and I love it so much. But it's not a real Pokemon, so Rockruff is still my favorite, and maybe he'll, he's gonna, probably always going to be my favorite. I don't think any Pokemon will ever take his spot, because he's adorable, has a good shiny, and it's so memorable in the anime. Even though Ash evolved him, 
and then wasn't in it much after that. No, I guess it was actually, but still, I, I would have preferred if Ash kept him as a rock rough. I get why they evolved him, but I would have preferred if they didn't. But yeah, rock rough, you're, you're always going to be my boy. And the number one cutest Pokemon, in my opinion, is Eevee. You probably all saw this coming when you saw Rockruff was number two. But yeah, I think Eevee is the cutest Pokemon in the world. I've always loved Eevee. From the moment I first saw it in the anime, the moment I first learned it could evolve into eight different Pokemon, I've always loved this Pokemon, always, and it's always been cute. I've always been fascinated with the evolutions. For the longest time, they were all my favorite Pokemon. I even have a painting up there of them. <laughs> that was my aunt that painted that for like my 10th birthday? I don't know. But yeah. Eevee's adorable. It has a great shiny. I love shiny Eevee so much. I have all the shiny evolutions, including Eevee. <laughs> Cause like, I, I just, oh my god. It's so adorable. And the partner Eevee is even cuter. And let's go. Oh my god, that thing is adorable. It's a layer brown and has purple eyes instead of brown eyes. And it has a heart on its tail, but it's a female. And I just love it so much. They really made Eevee adorable in that game. They also, it's also the first time Eevee overshadowed Pikachu. Like, come on, you all know what I'm talking about. How you get more outfits for, for it, how it gets more moves than Pikachu. I'm pretty sure more people picked Eevee over Pikachu as well. So, yeah, the first time Pikachu was ever overshadowed by another Pokemon. I would also call Eevee the second mascot after Pikachu. Because they're, they're, they're both equally as mar marketable. So, yeah, I think, really, they're both the mascot of the entire franchise. But, and no wonder, Eevee's freaking adorable. And Ash has traveled with three Eevees before. They weren't his, and I really wanted to catch Eevee really badly. But... Hopefully he will one day, because he's been catching a lot of Pokemon that I've always wanted him to catch, like Dragonite and Lucario, and it's so cool. So please, please, Ash, please catch up Eevee. Alright, that was my list of my top 10 cutest Pokemon. Let me know who you think the cutest is in the comments down below, and please like and subscribe. But remember, if you don't think any of these Pokemon are cute, then we're not friends anymore. And I'm Vivi, and I'll see you next time. Bye!